Hey everybody, Chris here, and today I am going to teach you everything you need to know about the Workplane tool in Tinkercad. But before we get started, I just wanted to mention, I've done another video where I use everything in this video and others to create a full project from concept to 3D print in just under 30 minutes. So after you're done here, head over to watch that video so you can see how you can combine all of these tools to create your 3D models in Tinkercad. So in this video, I am going to explain how to use the work plane tool. The work plane tool is a phenomenal tool to be able to throw objects down in the right spot. So let's go ahead and throw down a cube, and I'm just going to click on the cube, drop it right in the middle here, and I'm going to make this big. I'm going to make it real big. So I'm going to come over here to the work plane tool, and I'm just going to click on it. And when I click on it, it gives me this little square. And no matter what surface I'm actually touching, you can see that it snaps to that surface. You can't use this out in the air in the open here. You have to use it on an object. And what it does is it creates a new work plane for you. So let's click it on the side right here. So you can see now that we have this orange grid, and that is our work plane. It's no longer down here on the bottom. So let's take a cylinder and we'll drag this over here and you can see it's no longer dragging it on the bottom where it was on the floor. It's putting it on this plane. So if I want to be able to just put this directly on the side of this, I could just let go and now that is where it's placed. So if I move it away, move the height, the height is completely different now the height is actually going to the side. And the great thing is, is if I hit D for drop, it'll drop it right back onto that plane for me. So let's say that now I wanna put something on this cylinder. So I can keep moving this work plane around and I wanna put, let's say, this cone directly on top of that. So now I've easily just dropped that cone right there on that plane. And let's say that I want to align these. So all I would have to do is click on these, click on my align, and then I could align it to my centers. So right there, now I have a perfect spike coming out of a box because, you know, that's what we needed for this tutorial. So if you wanted to go back to normal, all you do is you can click on your work plane tool or you can hit W and then click on the ground and then it will automatically go back to the floor that you're used to. Now, this is a great thing to keep in mind as you're making models, because let's say that I have this box and I wanna set it right here. Now, I could do this. I could just move it up here, move it over, then I can go to my front view, zoom in, I can hit F and it'll move me to it, and I could just move it like that. But you see how long that took me versus just dragging my work plane down and then dragging a box down and now I'm done. So keep this tool in mind when you're not actually just setting things on the ground, when you need to set things on top of another thing. Now another thing to keep in mind, if I wanted to move this out directly from this, this is the up now. It was the point of the cone was the up when I had my work plane set. But I can just hit my work plane, and now my up has changed. So now I can move this away perfectly. So don't just think that your work plane is a tool that you can just set objects on. If you need to move things away perfectly that are perfectly aligned, you can use your work plane on any of those areas to be able to move it up, which is technically just moving it farther away from it. So be sure to keep the work plane tool in mind when you're working on your projects because it can be a very powerful tool in your arsenal. So that's everything you need to know about the work plane tool in Tinkercad. Now be sure to head over and watch the full project video so you can see how this tool and all of the others work together in Tinkercad. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in this video right here.